This is Math 141, practice test one. This is problem number 12. We're supposed to sketch a graph of it. So let me, uh, let me see if I can factor anything, just make sure nothing cancels out here. That's the difference of squares, x plus two times x minus two. Okay, nope, so good, I don't have any holes to worry about. So let me think about extreme behavior first, my, my horizontal asymptote. So as x gets really large, this thing will settle down to x over x squared, right? The minus fours don't matter as much because this number is so huge. Um, this is the same as one over x. And as x gets large, as x gets really big, one over x tends to zero. This thing gets closer and closer to zero. Think about like one over a thousand or one over a million. So as x gets large, uh, my horizontal asymptote is y equals zero. This thing will eventually settle down to zero. So let's see, let me look at uh, y-intercepts. Remember, that's when x equals zero. So when x equals zero, anything with an x in it is a zero, it doesn't matter. So what I end up with is negative four over negative four. And that's a positive one. So my, my y-intercept is y equals one. My x-intercept is when I'm gonna go zero divided by something. When will this output is zero, what x values? So if I set that equal to zero, here's my x-intercept, x equals four. And then a uh, last piece, let me think of the things x can't be. That'll give me those vertical asymptotes. And that's why I factored this bottom because x, uh, negative two and two, those are the two values that I can't plug in for x because they'd make me divide by zero. So those will be some asymptotes. So let me sketch what I have. And this one is a little bit weird. You know, uh, using a calculator will help you get an idea of it. So I have an asymptote here. I have an asymptote here. Um, oh, a horizontal asymptote here. So it settles down to that. Remember, locally, asymptotes can be crossed. It's just that these extreme behaviors where we start to settle down to them. Um, Y-intercept of Y equals 1 x-intercept of positive four, four. Let me grab, uh, label these points too. So that was zero, one, and, um, whoa, was it at four? I graphed it wrong. One, two, three, four, here it is, four, zero. Okay, so now I can graph it on my graphing calculator, take a peek, I notice it does something like this. That makes sense to me. It does something like this as well. And then what's funny is over here, it does that, but I can zoom in really close and look. I know it has to, it has to cross here. It's going to cross here and then start to come back down and settle down. Now that's pretty subtle, but we can see that the calculator can help us find that. 